The Moldor Thief set is by far one of the best loadout sets in Star Wars Outlaws if you're struggling with some of the stealthier parts of the game. Not only do the individual pieces come with buffs that help you increase different areas of stealth, like decreased detection by cameras, and quieter and quicker movement when crouched, but when combined you also receive a set bonus that greatly reduces your ability to be detected. And in a game where you're constantly having to sneak into buildings and avoid detection, it's pretty self-explanatory why you should absolutely pick this one up. So let's break down each of the different pieces in this set and I'll show you exactly where and how to get them. Now there are two different thief set variations in the game, the Akiva and the Moldor. The individual buffs with each piece do differ a little, but I wouldn't say there's any significant standout between the two. And the set bonus is the same no matter which one you have equipped. The Akiva set is one that's probably easier to get if you're working with the Pike Syndicate, whereas the Moldor set is going to be better if you're working with the Hut Syndicate. But since the set bonus can be achieved no matter which combination of vest, belt, and pants you use, you can use whichever combination of items is easiest for you to get. But starting out with the Moldor Thief Vest, you'll want to head to the planet Akiva and to the city of Myra. If you're not already on Akiva or in Myra, i found that one of the better ways to navigate the map is actually by pressing L2 to go into navigation mode. From there, it's much easier to go through the list of vendors you're looking for and to find fast travel spots. Once you're there, be on the lookout for Jam Mox the Tailor. You'll find Jam Mox the Tailor inside the Market District, right outside the Pike Syndicate base. And when you speak to him, you'll be able to pick up the Moldor Thief Vest. Now this vest by itself will increase your ability to avoid detection from cameras, which makes it a worthwhile piece to add to your loadout collection no matter what. And it also gives you a large amount of adrenaline when performing stealth takedowns. Now Jam Mox also sells the Nar Shaddaa Thief Pants and Belt, which are parts of another Thief set you can pick up, but this set does not include the set bonus, so unless you're just wanting to collect every set of clothes in the game, you can probably just skip this one. Now for our next piece, the Moldor Thief Belt, we'll want to stay in Akiva and we'll need to have progressed the story far enough to have met the Scavenger Expert and learned the Hydro Repulsor skill. This skill gives us the ability to drive our speeder over water, which we're going to need because we're going to head northwest of Myra to the Great Basin. There's a fast travel point just north of Hunter's Canopy that we can take, and from there we'll want to head northeast on our speeder until we've reached Namda Iki. If you haven't yet spoken with Namda, there should be some dialogue there, but once that's done, you'll be able to purchase the Moldor Thief belt. This belt, on its own, gives you back a portion of your health when performing a stealth takedown, and it increases your stun shot recharge speed. Now our final piece, the Moldor Thief Pants, are probably the trickiest part of the entire set to acquire because you'll need to have progressed the main story past the Jabba mission and you'll need to have an excellent reputation with the Huts in order to gain access to freely roam around Jabba's palace. As long as you haven't dug yourself into too big of a reputation hole with the Huts, it should be easy enough to get in the Huts' good graces by carrying out a few Hut contracts. Another easy way that i found to get your reputation up is to travel to any of the Hut vendors and you should be able to sell them information. But once you have your hut reputation up to excellent, you'll be able to head into Java's palace. Cave us. Lama, Davis, Don't mind if I do. Once inside, be sure to pay your respects to Han Solo, who's frozen in carbonite hanging right there in the front entrance of Java's palace. Ah, uh, does it hurt? Ha ha ha. Soon and just before you reach him, you'll meet Clava Zist, who will sell you the final piece of our thief set, the Moldor Thief Pants. I do think these pants are worthwhile even on their own because they'll increase your crouch movement speed and give you the ability to move more quietly, which are both great skills for stealth. And I don't use smoke bombs all that much personally, but if you do, stealth takedowns in these pants will reduce your smoke bomb cooldown time. And with all three pieces equipped, this should significantly help you out with some of those trickier stealth missions. And for even more Star Wars Outlaws tips and tricks, be sure to check out my beginner's tips and tricks guide, which I'll be sure to link in the description below. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you on the next so, one. So, what did he do? Must have been pretty bad if Jabba turned him into wall decor.